Recently, the latest stealth bomber of the United States B-21 made its debut. The Secretary of Defense was present in person and made a speech. So can China cope with such a U.S. bomber? The answer is yes. The B-21 is not a new generation bomber. It is one of the symbols of declining American power. The U.S. is not strong enough to contain China militarily, and the B-21 will not change that. Here, we start with why the United States developed the B-21 in the first place. First, since the end of World War II, the B-21 was the first U.S. strategic bomber program not aimed at a replacement, which doomed it to never reach a game-changing level of sophistication. The U.S. military's advantage over China in this area will shrink. Second, embarrassingly for the U.S., the real purpose of the B-21 was to control costs, even at the expense of performance requirements. B-2 bombers are too expensive and too few in service, and the U.S. military really needs more. However, for decades, the military-industrial interest groups compassed of the U.S. politicians and enterprises have continuously treated the U.S. military budget as their cash cow. Almost every major combat platform project, such as the F-22, F-35 fighter jets and B-2 bombers in service, has been seriously overspent and delayed. This creates a huge contradiction. So, 33 years after the B-2's first flight, the U.S. military is left with the B-21, which is expected to be much smaller than the B-2 and have significantly less payload capacity. This is the only way to satisfy the appetite of interest groups and the need of the military. Some American analysts scoff that politicians are at last making America's military worse than it was 30 years ago. China is catching up with the U.S. quickly. China's air defense capabilities, such as various red flag air defense missiles and J-20 fighter jets, and long-range strike capabilities, such as various Dongfeng missiles, pose a growing threat to the U.S. military. In this context, the pursuit of low-cost comparable performance of the B-21 bomber against such a powerful adversary as China is very awkward. Let's talk about why the B-21 doesn't contain China from a technical point of view. First of all, we must note that the U.S. is at a stage where it can do nothing about China's long-range strike weapons, such as hypersonic missiles and ballistic missiles, this situation cannot be changed by the B-21. The various missile defense systems that the United States has spent a lot of money to build can only intercept a small number of traditional ballistic missiles and cannot defend against a large number of Chinese ballistic and cruise missiles, not to mention the flexible Chinese hypersonic missiles and orbital bombers. As a result, the U.S. forces have to pull back from the first island chain. Neither the B-21, B-52 or B-2 bombers can stay in bases in Japan, Korea or even Guam for very long. The B-21 is also a subsonic aircraft, even from the second island chain to the East Asian coast, it would take several hours. Moreover, the B-21 second small carrying capacity exacerbated the problem. In addition, fighter jets such as the F-22 and F-35 cannot fly as far as the B-21. If the B-21 is deployed too far, the B-21 may lose the protection of fighter jets. As a result, the U.S. military may have fewer bombers that can operate in East Asian coastal areas in the future, despite the B-21 program. Secondly, B-21 has not made any breakthrough in stealth capability, flight performance and other aspects, while China's air defense system is changing rapidly, B-21's survival in the East Asia theater is worrying. China has deployed a significant number of optical and radar reconnaissance satellites, especially those with real-time reconnaissance capabilities, giving it a degree of ability to track U.S. bombers, making the B-21's stealth design less valuable. The development of China's anti-stealth radar system has also been an embarrassment for the B-21. In fact, older long-wave radars can detect stealth aircraft. The problem is that the accuracy is too low. China's solution is to develop a new type of radar with a new algorithm, a new operating system, and a high degree of anti-jamming capability, combined with traditional long-wave technology, through a comprehensive approach of systemization, multi-base station technology, coordination and synchronization of multiple radars, and enhanced targeted algorithms to enhance the detection capability of stealth fighters. For example, YCL-80 radar and SLC-7 radar exposed in recent years are representative products. China's air defense weapons, such as a variety of new Hunky air defense missiles, J-20 fighter jets and PIL-15 air-to-air -air missiles, have also significantly improved their ability to attack stealthy aircraft with the support of early warning platforms, such as the KJ-500. 
survivable stealth platforms like the J-20 could even take the initiative to shoot down B-21 bombers near U.S. bases with the support of YUN-20 tankers or destroy dependent early warning, aerial refueling or logistics platforms. Finally, the B-21 faces major, unknown challenges. First, there are no significant cost overruns or delays in the B-21 program, but it hasn't made its first flight yet, so it's hard to say what the future holds. Second, the U.S. military's expectations for the B-21 are shrinking, and the final B-21 may be even less capable. For example, the U.S. military had hoped for a drone version of the B-21, but it was too expensive. The U.S. military requires the B-21 to have an open architecture to facilitate upgrades, but programs like the F-35 have shown that this idea may not save money, but may suffer many drawbacks. Third, overall American power is rapidly declining, clouding the prospects for the B-21 program. The withdrawal from Afghanistan, the conflict in Ukraine and other cases, the United States' power is greatly reduced. If the economy continues to falter, the supposedly money-saving B-21 program will once again be scaled back or cancelled. This has already happened. The U.S. military originally wanted 145 B-21s, but may now buy only 100. Finally, it is worth noting that U.S. military interests often use one project at treasonable cost and schedule to downplay cost overruns and delays on other projects. The A-10, for example, came in under budget and faster than expected, but all the other fighter programs over the same period were blatantly money-making tools for interest groups. If future programs such as the sixth-generation fighter program burn too much money, the B-21 program will surely suffer. It should be said that the B-21 is still a very advanced bomber, but in the context of the rapid improvement of China's overall power, weaponry and technology, it is no longer able to make a significant impact. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, share and comment. Thank you.